and it is very rare when we have a women's basketball game and Fran O'Hanlon isn't at the other place where the visitors are. Not tonight. He played on Monday night. He's with us tonight with Dan Mowdy. Here is Dan with the head coach of the Lafayette Leopards. Thanks a lot, Gary. You talk about a schedule. Three games in eight days here for Lafayette College. So uh, we are lucky to have with us Fran O'Hanlon in his 19th season at the helm here of the Lafayette Leopards. And uh, Fran, welcome to the Lafayette Sports Network, a frequent flyer with us. Hey, it's great to be here, especially with you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Tell us a little bit about your new home here, Kirby Sports Center getting a, a facelift here, and the arena looks gorgeous. Are you guys uh, happy with the results? Absolutely. I mean, uh, before I had a couple of splinters, you know, from uh, from the from the stands before that. So th this is great. They did a great job with this, and I know from a uh, from our from our guys, they love it. Uh, from a recruiting standpoint, it's terrific. You know, the people can come in here and uh, and see our new home and uh, and very proud of it. Now we just need a win in the Patriot League. <laughs> Well, Fran, I was going to get to that eventually. I know. <laughs> I, I figured I'd head you off at the pass there. You know, year after year, the Patriot League comes out with this preseason poll, and Lafayette exceeds expectations. I think they called your number this year when they said Lafayette's going to finish second. Yeah, I, I think, well, first of all, I, I didn't understand it, but I, there's a lot of things I don't understand. Um, you know, we have a rookie a point guard we lost, you know, I think, the best player of not Mescala with Tony Johnson in the league last year and um, and Levi Geese you know so I knew coming into this it was going to be a challenge you know with a rookie uh, quarterback uh, but we still have a good team if we were healthy I think we would be very competitive but you know the, those preseason polls don't mean a whole lot to me you know I, it's just you got to play the games and uh, somebody somebody has to have those polls it's good for the media uh, for us it's just uh, Either you're going to put pressure on yourself or you're going to have motivation. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about some of the pitfalls that Lafayette has experienced this season. Seth Henricks, he's one of the top performers in the league, and not having him certainly has to have an effect. Yeah, I thought we were, you know, in the beginning of the year, we, we lost some very tough games. We lost two overtime games. We lost a um, two buzzer beaters, you know, um, and then Seth got hurt, you know, and, and you don't want to use uh, injuries. It, they happen. But it certainly was, we were one four in a row, uh, and then we lost Seth. And so the dynamics have changed. Our top player is out. And, and it, not that anybody cares. You just have to, um, you know, rise to the occasion. And some other people have to step up. We've been having trouble right now. We're, we're not defending well, and we're not rebounding well. And, uh, you know, we have to do a better job with that. I do like that we, we're playing some young guys and we're getting experience and hopefully that'll help them in the long run. Uh, for us, we need to be playing our best basketball in February uh, and in playoff time at, at the end of February, beginning of March. And that's what we're aiming for. Absolutely. Tell me about the two new entries into the Patriot League. We have Loyola, whose women's team is playing here tonight, and Boston. Uh, they've kind of uh, increased and improved the quality of play, I think, maybe a little bit. What do you say? No doubt. Both teams are very athletic. Uh, BU is, is a terrific basketball team, one of the best mid-major teams, I think, in, in the country. And Loyola, we just played them the other day. They, they were terrific. Uh, and uh, it certainly has upgraded the Patriot League. And... Uh, Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can look at it that way. Are you happy with it being a 10-team league? How does that, how do you look at that? Well, f for a one-bid league, you were always looking at, you had to be first out of eight. Now you got to be first out of 10. So y I guess you could do the math. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Now, uh, taking a look also at uh, the rest of the season, uh, and what's gotten you uh, some pretty good ball handling so far in the season is a young freshman Nick Lindner has uh, really exceeded expectations at least from those of us on the sidelines how do you see it no there's no doubt I mean I, I know coming in freshman there's always a learning curve and there's a, an adjustment to division one um, and Nick made that adjustment very quickly um, you know one of the things for Nick and this is for anybody who wants to be a player he has a tremendous work ethic you know, as good a work ethic as anybody that has been with the Lafayette program. And there's been some very good people uh, that have worked extremely hard. He loves the game, loves to get better. Uh, the point guard position is a very difficult position to step into college basketball and play. And uh, he's done a good job with that. For, for Nick, 
I know missing Seth. Seth took some of the pressure off Nick, uh, but he's still he's still doing a terrific job for us. Absolutely. Fran O'Hanlon, we wish you continued success here at Lafayette and uh, hopeful that a turnaround is right around the corner for this Patriot League season. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Dan. We hope it's uh, right around the corner. <laughs> All right. Fran O'Hanlon, head coach of the Lafayette men's team, now back to Gary and John.